Jazzy Cat stuff. And the prime example is the what I've got on the back of my truck right now is a 70 ton um, train engine. A, a stock 840 will pull it up that hill, up the mountain, but you're going to be going really, really slow. It'll pull it, though. It's just that you're going to be down second, third gear, probably at the highest. Um, and I wasn't happy with that. It's like, no, I, I, want, I wanted more to pull those heavy loads. Uh, the other thing I did is the top end of the original truck was uh, 140 kilometers an hour. And that's slower than my stock Volvo when I play multiplayer. So I've changed the differential in the transmission so that the top end is now about 170. In my stock Volvo in multiplayer, top end is about 165. So they're about equal there. I mean, I'd go faster, but I don't see the point. Um, what else did I change? Chassis. With the heavy loads, whether you run a stock engine, or a modified one doesn't matter if you're on really steep twisty roads and you try to turn the front end will slide sideways you can't turn it it, it takes so much weight off the front end with the way that the game does it you can't control it so I added about 1800 pounds to the front axle and that keeps the front end down it, and it seems to it's, it'll still slide but you got to almost try to make it slide. So there you have it. That's about, and I've got a lowering kit on this because for some reason or another, I couldn't back this P389 up under a trailer. I don't know what happened. It must, several people told me that I had some kind of mod conflict. I don't know. All I know is it wouldn't work anymore. So I went and several people suggested the Bennigan's mod, the lowering kit. So I I put that in there and I don't use hardly anything out of that mod but the lowering. Um, okay, what I'm going to do, just for shits and giggles, I'm going to go back down the mountain with this train and come back up again. And then we'll take it from there. I don't want to drop this engine load off right now. Because it's a bitch to find it again and be able to get to it and, and be able to drive over here to, to do the testing. So I don't want to drop it until I'm sure that I'm done testing, if that makes any sense to you all. Otherwise, you got to keep jumping all over the place. And it took me about an hour last night. I just kept jumping to different cities hoping that something big and heavy would show up and after about an hour I finally got it and then and then it was uh, shit like 800 kilometers away from Taza Mountain so I had to drive across the desert first but that's that that trip in itself is kind of fun because you can get this thing up to 160, 170 kilometers an hour going across the desert. It's kind of interesting to do. All right, let's start this puppy up. And I should be ready to go. Well, well sleep wouldn't hurt me. No sense in starting out with anything in the sleep, but I gotta drop the trailer to do that. Hang on, it won't let me sleep here unless I get rid of this trailer. There it goes. <laughs> Key thing when you do this, though, don't forget to pick your <laughs> load back up again. 
I have forgotten before. I did, luckily didn't get very far. <laughs> but I, I have forgotten to pick it up. Anybody that's in here, do you have TeamSpeak? If if you have TeamSpeak, uh, you can type in exclamation TS and it'll give you the TeamSpeak address. That'll get you there, but I have to pull you down to my channel. The way we got it set up is the streamers' channels are set up as private channels, and you, you have to be pulled in. If you release, parking brake, minor detail. Okay. I was going to try again today to... Uh, set up my track IR, but it ended up I spent most of the day in bed. Brights on. Tough shit. I don't care if you can see. You're an AI. I need to see. That's kind of how I look at it. But if you're if you're <laughs> if you're wanting to play around with stuff like this and, and kind of tweak things, this hill, mountain. It's a really good place to do it. It's steep and got a lot of sharp curves on it. The long loads like this are hard to get around some of these hairpins. You gotta use up pretty much the entire road. I've pulled a 65 ton tank up this thing and the tank, the trailer on the tank, the trailer, yeah, I can't talk. The trailer, hairpin turns, warning on the sign. Huh, no shit, Sherlock. <laughs> the trailer that the tank is on is wider than the truck. And the tank is wider than the trailer. I got an AI behind me. He's probably pissed. It's like tough shit. <laughs> like how many times have I got stuck behind AI and couldn't get around him? Yes, they are fun. They're very challenging. The tank... I don't think I've ever gotten the tank up this mountain without damaging it. I don't even know how much damage there is to my trailer out right now. Uh, what do we got? 16 percent. And it's because of the hairpin turns. And you can hit the guardrail. And it doesn't do... It's Well, I say this. 
it doesn't seem to do that much damage if you clip the guardrail but if you clip these concrete walls it's instant damage but you get see what I mean I just clipped the wall and I'm all the way on the other that's the entire road you can't get around that corner I don't think without hitting either the front of the truck or the back it's just the way it is it's just it this thing's long and the road is narrow and really sharp turns but this for sure is a good place to test out um, engine transmission and uh, chassis mod modifications. It's perfect. Just grab a heavy load somewhere. It's close, obviously, as close as you can get to here, so you don't have to drive very far. It doesn't matter where the load's going, as long as you can pick it up somewhere near here. I don't even know where this load goes. I have no intentions of ever delivering it. <laughs> yeah, I don't... Somebody told me that ETS-1, you could set waypoint coordinates in the GPS. I, I don't know. I've never played it. But I not if it's if it's true that it was in ETS one, then why didn't they put it in ETS two? Because I'd like to be able to have the ability to grab a grab a load and maybe maybe that load I don't care I'm just going to pick a number a thousand kilometers. But meanwhile, there's two cities that I have not discovered. Or I've discovered them and I don't have the garage and I want to stop off in them. I want to be able to go set waypoints for those cities to take me there to pick those up without having to try to keep stopping and looking at the map. Now we're dropped down out of the mountain. That wrong button. It's still pretty steep. But we're, as you can see, we're starting to get out into the desert. That's why I said this area is, is perfect for testing stuff like this. Hey, KW. Good evening, good sir. down this way a little ways and I'll turn around and head back and that AI is going to give me a lot of problems trying to go back he's going to be stuck climbing that mountain but there he is that was almost 180 kilometers an hour oh and my brakes are tweaked out to max so I can still stop a 70 ton load pretty fast. Alright, let me turn this thing around. not catch that on the screen but <coughs> of course I was in sand too the front end just slid around all right let's get going up this thing
still gaining speed, but that's I'm gonna go down here like right now. <laughs> bad yet. It starts getting steeper here pretty quick. said this is a good place to t <laughs> check your truck out because this mountain gets pretty steep yourself a pair of shades dude because I ain't turning off my lights <laughs> the hairpins. some air on the <laughs> under the wheels.
in sliding. I might need to add some more weight to the front. I think it wouldn't hurt. If I take that engine mod out of there, I can still get up that hill, but I'll be down in like probably second or third and doing about five kilometers an hour. Maybe even below second. About I, I doubt it. I, it'll probably do it in second, maybe third. No, I never did. Ah, what do I do now? So that's what my modded truck will do. And that's, like I said, that's pulling a 70 ton load. I haven't tried it without any mods. Uh, I haven't bothered because if, if I take the chassis mod out, I'm going to be slamming into the wall all the way up. It, 